This video is brought to you by CatBeast.com. Design your own custom snapbacks and hats. Oh my goodness, guys. I was so, so excited for the NBA season to start yesterday. And we get five minutes into the season and one of the most disgusting injuries I've ever seen happens to my man Gordon Hayward. Um, just, I feel so bad for the guy. If you didn't see it, his ankle went sideways. Like, his, his ankle was flopping around on his foot. His foot was just facing the wrong way. It was really disturbing. I had, like, just, like, anxiety from watching that for, like, half an hour. Like, I just felt like all my muscles were contracted. And I just, ugh, ugh. It was just, it was gross. I feel really bad for you, Gordon. The Celtics, difficult position now, five minutes into the season, and your second best player is out for presumably the entire season. I don't know what the injury reports look like, but he's out for a long time, I can tell you that. So that probably tosses all of Boston's hopes of even competing with the Cavs out the window. I didn't think they were going to beat them, but even just competing with them, I think that's out the window. I feel bad for the Celtics, a great organization. I feel really bad for Gordon Hayward. Never met the dude, but he seems like a stand-up guy, seems like a nice guy, he's a great basketball player. I just, I feel bad for anyone, like, he's making millions of dollars. Don't get me wrong, he's making millions of dollars. So that's good. And lots of people are going to be like, how can you feel sorry for someone when they're a millionaire? Dude, imagine if the one thing in life that made you tick, the one thing you woke up and got out of bed for, was taken away from you in the blink of an eye. You need to feel sorry for that. So Gordon Hayward, man, I hope you recover well. I hope you recover quickly, and I hope you're even better of a player when you're back from your injury. That that was really gross to watch. It, it, it sucks, especially in the first five minutes of the season. Can you, can you sign me? Okay. So I, get a, so I get a lot of DMs and emails and tweets every single day from you guys asking me, hey, I'm looking to buy this pair of shoes, what's the best site? Or more importantly, hey, I'm looking to buy from this site, is this site legit? And I'm by no means an expert, in fact, I'm by no means even competent in deciding whether or not a particular pair of shoes is fake like I don't know and I will always tell you you know what I think they look legit but I have no clue that is what I will always tell you if I legit check something for you but one thing I am good at is going on a website and telling you guys whether it's fake and I don't understand how anyone is bad at this because there are some terrible fake websites that I get sent and then there are some questionable ones that I get sent that lots of people are curious are these sites real are these sites not real? I thought we'd cruise around the webosphere today, take a look at some sites that tons of you guys, I'm actually gonna search through my DMs, the sites that you guys are asking me, are these real, are these fake? One that I get all the time is stockx.com. Now, lots of people have been asking me about this recently. I guess there's been some sort of controversy in the news of whether or not this is fake, this is real. I'd say the one thing you always wanna look for at first is how many people do you know that have bought from this site? What has been their experience with this site? I know tons of people that have bought from StockX and they have all said, yes, the shoes are real, I'm happy with the experience. But maybe you don't know anyone that's into sneakers. Second thing you wanna do is you want to, G why is this internet so slow? Are the prices in line with market value? $95 for kamikazes, that's very fair. The Jordan 12 that just came out, $10 under retail, that seems very legit. The Zebra Yeezys, $560, that seems very fair. Like These are prices that go along with market value. That is the best way to see if a website is legit or not. Because some websites might have really good interfaces and setups and they might look aesthetically great, but if the prices are terrible, they're probably fake. Some websites might look like a 12 year old designed them with a potato as a computer. But if the prices are within the realm of reasonable, I'd trust that website more than a website that looks great but has ridiculous prices. StockX is 100% legit. Lots of you guys ask me about that one all the time. They're 100% legit. I'm not even joking. Someone sent me this via DM, which is the reason I'm doing this video. Because if one person is confused about this, there's probably more. I know the majority of you guys are not stupid enough. But KanyeWestShoe.com, KanyeWestShoe.com. Someone took time out of their day because they weren't sure enough. If KanyeWestShoe.com was a real website, 
Let's take a look at these prices. Oh, wow. Yeezys for under retail. You can get them for 29% off retail. The, the retail price isn't even correct. It says retail was 240. That seems legit. A Supreme Box logo hoodie for 39.99. That seems legit. Whoa, whoa, guys, hold your horses. Off white hoodie. This thing's supposed to be like $500, and it's only the affordable price of 59.99. This is the best website ever. All these idiots, like Kais is spending thousands of dollars, Blazendary is spending thousands of dollars for the, the, those guys are idiots, they're wasting their money. You can get these awesome Vapor Maxes that go for $500, you, you can get them for $89.99. You can get the off-white Vapor Maxes for $109. This site's totally legit. Who thinks that, who, who wakes up in the morning, goes on KanyeWestShoes.com and has any question in their mind if that site is legit or not. Like, come on guys, please. This is another one I get a lot of questions about. They don't actually have a website, it's just an app. But Goat App, tons of people ask me about that. Yeah, it's it's legit. There were a couple questionable things of them selling fake shoes. But at the end of the day, even if they did sell a couple pairs of fake shoes, what you're looking for is a ethical brand because these brands try and legit check the shoes that they sell. And you're always gonna mess up on a legit check sometimes. But what you wanna look for is, are they going to hold themselves accountable? Are they gonna say, yeah, we messed up, that pair of shoes was fake. Like, Urban Necessities, JC, he, they, they bought a fake pair of Vapor, Vapor Maxes, or they tried to consign a fake pair of Vapor Maxes, and they found out that they were fake, and they owned up, and they said, guys, we messed up. This is a fake pair of shoes. And that's what you wanna look for. Like, if there happened to be one fake pair of shoes that slipped through the cracks, I don't think that's a big deal, but you wanna look for, like, does the brand admit to when they're wrong? Go StockX, those guys are definitely legit. KanyeWestShoes.com, not so much. This one's actually really good. This is a guy that I know, he's from Boston. I've hung out with him, really, really cool dude. He actually runs this site and it's called Sneaker Oven. So a bit of a shameless plug for him just because he's a cool dude. Sneaker Oven is another good, legit place that you can get your shoes. He does pre-orders on Jordans, he does pre-orders on Yeezys, all that stuff. Basically makes it easy for you to get the shoes that you want. I don't feel lucky. I don't want to win a special prize. How do I get out of the special? Oh, whatever, let's spin it. Do I want, oh, need to enter a valid email address. Now can I spin? Oh yes. Let's go. What am I gonna win? 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 15% off. 15% off. I won 15% off. Guys, at the end of the day, there are tons of legit sites, which I'd be happy to tell you, is this one legit? Do I think this one's legit? Do I think this one's fake? But some of those, like, I get websites like KanyeWestShoes.com sent to me at least at least five times a week with people asking me, is this site legit? And when it comes down to it, you just need to get a brain. Like, does it look legit? It, it doesn't. It doesn't look legit, guys. Lots of people, I'm, I'm not sure if I believe them, but lots of people were telling me that these sold out at their local malls. And like, obviously they sold out at some local malls with the, the hundreds and hundreds and thousands of malls that got these shoes, but I don't, I don't really believe it. I mean, like, Jordan 12s are one of the more popular Jordan models at this point in time, but still, like, Jordan models just sit forever. Like, the Playoff 13 sat on shelves. So, apparently these sold out, which is amazing. Like, well done, Jordan brand. I think this is a really, really nice shoe. Apparently, I sounded disingenuous in my review of these, but I think this is truly a well done pair of sneakers. Now, I have two huge announcements for you guys. First one is that the Friday Nights Meetup has been 100% confirmed for October 28th, 2017. Just watch as the date changes again, but 100% confirmed. October 28th, it's gonna be at 11 o'clock Saturday morning until probably two in the afternoon, Saturday afternoon, October 28th. So we're gonna have some collaboration merch. It is going to be very limited. If you guys would like to get it, definitely come a little bit early. I have a whole bunch of you guys in Winnipeg that love watching the videos and I love meeting you guys. So I'm very, very excited for that. It is going to be a great time. Matt's gonna be there. Richard's gonna be there. All of your favorite people from the vlogs are going to be there. Who knows, you might even try and get Alden Sansano, the world's most famous champ sports employee, to come through and make an appearance. And then also, I'm heading to New York tomorrow. Gonna be there from Thursday until the following Wednesday, October 25th. So if you guys are in New York or are going to be in New York, whether you live there or are traveling there and you wanna 
say what's up, definitely follow me on Instagram, on my Instagram story. I will be showing you guys where I am, when I'm there, and what I'm doing. If you guys want to come through, say what's up. That being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let me know if you're feeling real down in the comment section below. I truly do love you guys from the bottom of my heart. And remember, if you're not sure if a website is fake or real, just ask yourself, are these prices freaking $200 below retail on a shoe that goes for $1,000? It's not that hard.